Welcome everyone to another video review. My name is Geekman and welcome to my channel. Now, today's video we're going to be reviewing the Piranha Tungsten Doubts. Now, right on the back here there is a warning for you folks. So listen up. Doubts and our accessories are sporting goods and not toys. Doubts are for adults play and not for children under the age of 15. Those sporting goods are to be used as only as intended. Under lessons such as myself, I'm just kidding. Uh, 15 years and older should be supervised by an adult such as me during play. In other words, folks, this is not for kids. And you know why? It's very really simple. Now, those are state of the art 24, 23 grams steel piranha of the fish doubts. Comes in this fancy beautiful looking case and you can buy them directly on Amazon. There's going to be a link right down below of course. And I just warn you, I'm an Amazon affiliate. And I buy those things for my own use because I love stuff like that. Look, beautiful. But I didn't buy them for beauty. I bought this for performance. Now, when you're buying doubts, first of all, you want to have a doubts with a case. Just holding and putting those and going for a competition or just using it on a date and trying to impress her. You want to come out with the best looking doubt set that is the most beautiful and the best looking one that you can, the money can buy for under 50 bucks, thankfully. 70 to 50. You can find those used, maybe a lot cheaper on eBay. But the best ones are going to be on Amazon, of course. Now, this one is with the orange tip right here. And it is beautiful design looking. Now, this is not for kids. The reason for that is, look at this. This is pretty dangerous. So if you're getting your kids, don't get those kind. Now, when you're throwing doubts, a few things about this. First of all, if you don't hold it like this from the back end right here you hold it somewhere in the middle you want to balance it out so it is balanced in your hand then you swing this straight like that aim a bit higher than the target so if the target is here you're aiming it right there so the gravity is going to push it down and it's going to go whoop right into the target it takes a few practice before you get good at this so make sure you do this the worst way to fall down is like this it is also extremely dangerous. Also make sure nobody is standing when you checking those things at somebody. So whoop and it falls on somebody. That's painful. Dangerous. Extremely dangerous. But those doubts, you can take them out. You can actually take out the back of here and you can put your own or just buy other ones. Now, why should you actually invest in expensive looking doubts and not get the cheap ones? First of all, cheap is cheap, so you're getting what you paid for. Also, I found with cheap ones, those things on the back right here, those files rip. Once the files rip, this thing becomes almost useless, by the way. Also, the nose, once this thing gets scratched up and everything, and it starts breaking, this thing becomes pretty much useless as well. So it's not going to stick to target, and you're going to lose every single game. Of course, it also depends on the doubt board. So make sure you get the highest possible quality doubt board. It is one-time investment and you can use it for a few years. Now, one thing I used to do is I got one of those doubt boards and I was actually chucking, actually throwing knives at that and it totally destroyed the, the actual board. So don't, don't actually do that. That's totally uh, uncalled for and it's gonna totally destroy your board. So no. So this is the best doubts. I love this kind. I can't recommend this enough. So watch them in action. So I wanted to show you for comparison purposes the Case Master doubts. Case Master. Woo. What do you know? You thought Case Master was in here. Those are the special edition Piranha doubts. And they are amazing looking. So here is how they look like. Let's zoom in. So you can see the all entire details. You know, it's glowy. 
This is what a 60 to 70 dollar doubt actually looks like. So why is it worth so much money? Apart from it being and having the best logistics out there, it comes with this nice looking collectible case. It has my favorite fish on it, which is the piranha. So if you ever go in a water and you see this in Amazon, you run as fast as you can because that thing is gonna bite you into small little pieces one by one what do you know this is not even beyond adults so haven't opened this in a while but those are special edition even more expensive doubts by the way so that's how they look like and all about doubts well it's about center of gravity this is much heavier doubt than this one right here they have different kind of logistics, different kind of ending to them. And they really are made out of three different pieces, which is the first piece right here, which is the metal. Second piece is this, and the third piece is the feather right in the back. So that is the case for the big doubts. And those are my favorite ones, and they have been in the wrong case. The piranha case is where they belong. And that's how they actually look like inside the case itself. And of course, if you're getting doubts, you have to put and get them because of the quality construction. You want to make sure it is balanced all throughout. When you put this on your hand, it should balance off like this. On the other hand, this one has a different kind of center of gravity. This one is leaning toward this side, which makes it not a newbie's doubt. It's still good because it has a lot of weight here. But if you're just starting out, you want to have it even out the weight all the way. And I'll be showing you how to throw those around too. So you can go ahead and get very good at this. So when you hold this, newbie's mistake, hold it right here. You want to hold it right here. And you want to balance it like this. It's really about being comfortable in your hand. Now, the worst way to throw it is like this. No, no, not that way. Like this. And then you just whoop and you throw it in right into its target. You aim a little bit higher than the target. So the gravity will actually sink this right into the target itself. And that's the way you're supposed to throw it. It takes a bit of practice for you to get used to it and to get really good at this sport. But it's not the sport for people who are not patient. Anyway. So just zooming in so you can see how it looks and all its glory. Closing the case. And before we close it, just to show you, it has more interesting compartments in here as well. You might as well just buy it just for this awesome looking case. The Piranha Tangistan is one of the best doubts that money can buy for something under a hundred bucks. Sometimes you can get this for 50 bucks and under too. So keep a lookout to get the best bargain for those doubts.